All right, how does it all work together, the electric car? It's very simple, it only has a few parts. So we'll go over exactly how they work together in this Jeep. We're gonna start with the batteries. I have six 12 volt lead acid batteries, four here. And these are just so I can connect each one to a charger. It's just a regular plug and um, you know, just plugs into a charger that I put the other side of the, the male side of the plug. I just use regular 110 volt plugs on those. And then if you follow the wires, right, you'll see the other two underneath the seat. So if we pull the seat back, there's two in the seat plus the four back there makes six. And they're wired together in series. And you're going to start with the very first one. There's a fuse on here, so if anything goes bad, uh, the fuse will blow and will keep my more expensive motor and controllers from blowing up. And then you start there, and then it goes to the negative, negative to the next positive, positive, and then negative, positive, negative, positive. Follow that negative. It's going to go to the positive of the battery underneath the seat until you have them all wired together and then you can see the negative one I mean the positive one runs through a switch and this is just a quick disconnect switch so that you can uh, shut off the power immediately it's emergency disconnect so that if something happens I just hit that also on the inside I have a key and that just goes to my contactor and I also have a, a flip switch here uh, they both do the exact same thing. It just runs from the key to contact and they both have to be in the on position. And then underneath, I have a hot rod pedal from a hot rod car. And basically that goes to the potentiometer. Coming on the inside, we have our wire from the battery pack. There's two of them. One's a positive, one's a negative. And then the one goes to the contactor, right? So the contactor is wired up with that switch and to the controller. All right, so it knows when you have power and it can make sure that this is on and controls it. So you got your power going in, all right? And then you got your power going right to the motor. And the motor comes back in to the controller and then comes back out and goes back through the battery pack. Here's your potentiometer over here that you control by that foot pedal. It's just a uh, you know wire that's run through like a bicycle with your brakes. And then over here on the motor, depending on what kind of motor you have, I have a big motor and it has four studs on it. Two are shorted together, and the one uh, both the other one go to the controller. All right, we're gonna turn on the car so you can see what happens. So the battery pack's charged to 72 volts. Now, I'm gonna turn the key on and everything else is already set up. Uh, when I turn the key, you should hear the contactor turn on. Okay, so that means now there's, there is electricity flowing through the contactor to the controller. The controller's light should be on, and you can see it's a nice little green light, it's on. And that means we have potential for the motor to have power. If I had, if I was inside, I could press the gas pedal and that would move this potentiometer and that would move the car. So I'm gonna move it by hand with my finger just to show you um, that you should see the car moving a little bit right now. Okay, and move forward. It just rolled back into position. But this other battery here is for all the accessories. So this old Jeep, does not have power steering, right? Does not have power steering, it just has a steering box up here. That's it. It does not have power brakes. That's the brakes right there. It's a single cylinder. Um, I hope to change that out to dual, make it a little safer. <clears throat> and uh, that's, the, that's the 1942 Jeep. Uh, electrified and working.